Born in 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Katherine Johnson began her historic career as one of the most advanced mathematicians to ever live. At an early age, Johnson was infatuated with math and quickly advanced reaching high school at age 10 and graduated at the age of 14 before matriculating into West Virginia State College. Taking every mathematics course that the college had to offer, Katherine Johnson received her bachelor's degree in mathematics and French in 1937 at just 18 years old. After graduating in the top of her class, Johnson went on to teach at a black public school in Marion, Virginia. It wasn't until 1952 when a relative of Johnson had informed her of positions opening for the all-black West Area Computing Section at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, known as NACA. Just weeks into her job, Johnson was assigned to a project in the Maneuver Loads branch of the Flight Research Division, which gave her a permanent position at NACA. Johnson would go on to spend the next four years analyzing data from test flights and making calculations. In 1957, Johnson's career would hit high gear. That year, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik into orbit, making history as the first artificial Earth satellite. The next year, NACA would become NASA with the integration of the Space Task Group, and Johnson's job pivoted to winning the space race. In 1961, Katherine Johnson provided the trajectory analysis for the Mercury program's Freedom 7, with Alan Shepard aboard as America's first human in space. Godspeed, John Glenn. In 1962, NASA began to prepare for John Glenn's orbital mission, which would go on to become Johnson's most notable work. NASA had just begun to utilize electronic computers to calculate Glenn's orbit around the Earth, but officials called on Johnson to verify the computer's numbers. Roger, the clock is operating. We're underway. For years, Katherine Johnson's story went untold until the book by Margot Lee Shetterly, Hidden Figures, and subsequent movie with the same title, told her trailblazing story to the world. In 2015, President Barack Obama awarded Johnson the Presidential Medal of Freedom and cited her as a pioneering example of African-American women in STEM. For her remarkable work, Johnson has received numerous awards, honorary doctorates, and schools named in her honor. Tonight, Katherine Johnson will be honored once more for her legacy as perhaps the greatest mathematician of her time with her induction into the National Aviation Hall of Fame.